We're in Pampanga! This is honestly the prettiest city hall I've ever been to. Sa isa isa lang! Oh my god, my mouth is watery. People said it's really different from the other things that we have in Manila, guys. Exotic to me, again. It's cool. Hey guys, Jessica here. And welcome to the 8th episode of our Paborito series. And today is our first ever outside of Manila shooting. We're in Pampanga! <laughs> guys, we're in Pampanga! The food capital of the Philippines. I don't know. Most of the best looks to do fine food. Mm. Oh. Well, I just know that seasick, which is like my favorite Filipino food, uh, the origin of seasick is here. So I'm just really excited to try like the authentic seasick or the original seasick. Seasick from Pampanga. So that's what I'm most excited for. So that's why I can already sense that it'll be a good food place just because of the fact that seasick is from here. That's also the only thing. I don't know what else. Okay, yeah, yeah. In Pampanga, guys, although it's only two hours away from Manila, we speak different language, right? Pampangan. Yeah, we have a challenge. By the end of the episode, you should know that Pampangan is and it's good. Ah, it's good and it's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask. Wait. But I don't know if I should ask, like, can I ask you a question in Kampampanga? Ah, yeah? Ah, uh, can you Okay, guys, honestly, I feel very nervous because it's Kampanga. By the way, we're right in front of the Pampang Market, the public market here in Angeles as our starting off location. So we're gonna go ahead and interview different people to get food recommendations all over Kampanga. Okay. Hi, mga kuya. Can you ask me a question? Yes. Are you in Pampanga? Are you here? Today we're looking for a pangkain recommendation here in Pampanga. Do you know? It's so good to eat pangkain only here in Pampanga. It's so good to eat. It's so good to eat. So bang masarap. The best sa Pampanga. Manyaman. Best sa Pampanga. Which one? Anong name? Aling Lusig. Aling Lusig. Aling Lusig. That's a famous one, right? Lusig. Lusig. Aling. Aling Lusig. Ano yung mas masarap? Aling Lusig or Dainty? Dainty. Ay restaurant ito di pa. Ita si si. Japanese Japanese food dainty eh. Ah Japanese food. Ah. Lusig ka Pampanga. You tried na? Yeah. Aling Lusig. Yeah. Masarap. Masarap. Anong masarap doon? Sisig. 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 Pork. Sisig. Barbecue. Barbecue. Okay, so how many times have you been there? Two times. Two times. Di masarap doon. Di masarap doon. Okay. Di masarap doon. Di masarap? What's not masarap? Dainty. O kaya sa aling lusig. Dainty is better than aling lusig? Anong singin mo kayo? Aling lusig. Aling lusig. Dainty. Anong mas masarap? Dainty. Dainty. Oh. Dainty. Dainty. It's a Chinese restaurant. A Chinese restaurant? But the Aling Lusing, Filipino. Ah. Aling Lusing. The best seller, Sisig. Ah. Sisig. Sa tingin mo kayo. Aling Lusing. Aling Lusing? Ah. The best seller, Sisig. Okay. Ano po yung pangalan mo po, Kuya? My name is Yeng. Arman. Arman. Thank you, Kuya. All right, guys. So we're here at Aling Lusing. She's the one who made yeah. Sisig? Yes. What? Yes. The original? Yes. So because of her, their Sisig? Yes. We're at the place where Sisig was invented, guys. So obviously, we're going to get Sisig. And then the Kuya told me, like, barbecue is good. So I'm going to get, look how they wrote it, chicken ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just try that, though. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. No. Isor. 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 Chicken ass. <laughs> it's actually a very legendary place. And it's like the Karenderia vibe, but it's actually big. Very big. There's even like a room over there and also upstairs. There are also a lot of pictures. Like, I'm Sunny Birthday. The CC Queen. Alright guys, so finally the long-awaited food came out. No, actually, it just came out in like less than five minutes. So there's sea sig. It's not sizzling anymore. It was a while ago though. Based on the, the looks of it, so honestly I'm getting really excited right now because like it's my first time seeing a sea sig like this. No egg, obviously, no egg. Literally just the pork and then sibuya. Yun lang. So it's very simple. It's different from like the sea sig. We know there's like there's the egg, there's the mayonnaise. So let's try. 
Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Even the rice texture is so good. Not too much water, not too little water, just perfectly cooked. Words, first ever seasoning. So good. So this is the authentic seasick. <laughs> this is the authentic seasick. So first of all, one thing I also really just noticed, it's very meaty. And you know how when you think of seasick, it's made out of like the pig's ears, those parts. So it's not really meaty. This one's very meaty. Like you can really chew on every single piece of meat. And they're very tender. It's not like the skin, pork skin or whatever. It's very tender. Just Tender meat. Very tender. It's just really the most basic basic flavor, as in like there's the sour flavor, and then there's the pepper, and then the sweetness and the spiciness of the onion, the sourness from the calamansi as well, and everything just very well balanced together. Like it's not too salty, it's not too sour. Like this is really the perfect answer for a standard seafood kind of flavor. And in terms of the flavor, it's really different from the other seafood we have in Manila, guys. I think the closest to this seafood is really the mangina sauce but upgraded, way, way, way upgraded of mangina sauce seafood. And then I really love how the flavor is just mild. If you want to know what's the meaning of seafood? Do you speak Kambapangas? Yes. Ano po yung masara? Manyaman. Manyaman. And then, ano po yung mami salamat po? Salamat po. Dakala salamat. Huh? Dakala salamat. Dakala salamat. Manyaman, dakala salamat. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna try my favorite chicken ass. So seasick means sour. I, I like it when seasick is sour. The thing with iso is that there are a lot of bones, guys. Mini bones. There's like the typical barbecue seasoning sauce, but it's very mild. Also, perfect for my taste, where I don't really like it too salty. And also the seasoning. That's what I'm impressed about. Hello, Oh, yes, uh, <laughs> do, do you have a minute for like questions? Taga, <laughs> No. Uh, Ah, uh, no, 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 it's okay. Pero trabaho po kayo dito yeah, yeah, yeah. sa dito. So you know Pampanga well? No. Oh. Hindi naman. You guys. Uh, Pampanga. Yeah. What Pampanga? About? From Pampanga? Yes. What about? I wanna know. Ano yung pinaka manyaman na pagkain dito sa Pampanga? Oh, si Pero yung pangalan yung restaurant. Uh, you go to Milas. Milas? Yeah, it's just right across the street. Because I'm coming from Aling. 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 Yeah, but Milas, I. Ibang Sisig place, diba? Yes. Is it really good, talaga? Yes. Milas? Yes, yeah, that's what we eat right now. Uh, you just came from Milas? Yes, I just came from Milas. How many times have you been there? Uh, twice. Twice? So, as Kampampangan, you can say that's the best Sisig. Yeah, aside from Lucy. Ano ang pangalan mo kayo? PNB. Thank you, PNB. Thank you, thank you. Bye. In Pampanga, in Clark, there's a Korea town, which is like the biggest Korea town in the Philippines. Oh, it's literally right there. Thank you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It looks so different. It looks so different. Wow, even the smell totally different though. It's and then they didn't give calamansi. Mm -hmm. So it's just like this. So just as usual, we have the rice. I'm just gonna get half because anyway, I can't finish it. <sighs> Honestly, I'm so happy right now doing this whole seasick tour, guys. So just by the looks, guys, their seasick is very different from... Not only different from the Aling Lusing seasick, but just... It's just very different from any kind of seasick I've seen. But I've also seen this kind of seasick before. Nah, that's like, there is no shape where it's really like ground pork kind of looking. Also, the chili is already there, so here we go, guys. Second seasick of the day. Oh, it smells so different. Like, I don't think it's gonna be sour.
This is the seasick flavor, I know. <laughs> yeah. But this is a familiar seasick flavor, the very sour, spicy, and you know, like the oily fried flavor. And then like there are bits of chicharron, so it's like crunch, crunchy. And in their case, they use the purple, purple onion. So that's why it's stronger. Because you know how the purple onions is a bit stronger than the white onions, so the flavor of the onion is stronger. And then you know the first taste, the first flavor, it tastes like tajangmyeon, do you know? Huh? The tajangmyeon, right? Yeah. It tastes like that. What? But after going to chew and stuff, honestly, it's a kind of sisig I never tasted before as well. But it's really good, the flavor. Like for me, what the really the ideal, the best sisig would be, the meat of Ali Nguyen with the sauce, the flavor of this one. Because it's very strong, but then this one, there's not much texture with the meat. Can you categorize like, what type of market or audience? Aling Lusing, you should try it. For Aling Lusing, it's like people who like bland flavor, like me, like who don't like salty flavor, who really want to taste the actual flavor of the each ingredient more, which is just the pork cheeks and then the, the onions. Just those two better is Aling Lusing, but then in terms of like flavor, if you want like a stronger, like I want sour and like very distinct in terms of flavor, it stands out more. It's a matter of preference, really. Actually, the name of this place, guys, is uh, Milla Tokwa Baboy. Yeah. And this is Tokwa Baboy. So Tokwa is tofu. Mm. They have exotic parts of pork here. Like, they have like, what is this? Like, skin? It's a bit exotic for me, again. Mm. Ah! This is the ear? Yeah. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> so Tokwa Baboy is actually made out of pig ears. That's all. In their case, they really added. Okay, so it's different, guys. Mmm! It's my first time trying this dish. No. Like the tofu is like the fermented tofu, you know that? The one that smells? It's like it's like that type of tofu that I like. Chidugu in Korean. I really like the tofu. Mmm. And then, you know, honestly, it's a bit scary looking, right? Like. No, this is what goes inside seasick. Pig's ears and pig's cheeks and pig pork skin. But in Aoling Susing, it was like really the cheeks alone, kind of. You can feel the meat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. This is like the Filipino food that really um, I never really tried before. And even if it's the same soy based, mm, very sour, no sweetness at all, no peppery flavor, just really soy sauce. I'm having pulutan right now without alcohol. <laughs> The tofu is really good. Really, really good. Guys, this is the Pinatubo Memorial. Guys, this is honestly the prettiest city hall I've ever been to. Do I go? I'm too shy. Hello, po. Kamba pangan po kayo? Kasi I'm looking for a uh, pinaka manyaman ng pagkain kainan dito sa Pampanga. Pangalan ng kainan place. Na sobrang masarap. No, no, you don't know, you don't know. Parang nila si bedding na nandito yung mga kantina na ganun. Kaya lang, yung pinaka parang antik, parang pinaka-unique. Si Nanay... Ano? Lilian. Nanay Lilian. Nanay Lilian? Nanay Lilian yung kainan? Kainan? Anong anong pagkain do? Sinigang. Sinigang. Sisig. Sobrang masarap po. Yun kasi yung alam po, expert na ano. Expert na expert, okay. Ano pa kaya na nababasarap na? Niluluto kasi yun sa ano? Sa banga. Oh! So parang traditional doon. Okay. Oh my god, wait! It's so pretty! You know, guys, it's like a house gate. Like, it's like I'm going to someone's house. The Lilian. And it's, it's, it's sunset time right now. It's getting dark. And apparently, guys, it's closed. But, let's just ask. Wait, if it's close, it's close. Oh my god, the legend. Yes. It's so old. This is your restaurant. Bahay lang. Bahay lang. Pero, for how long po? Bahai was built in 1916. Wow! 1916? So, okay, if that's available, we are happy to show Oh, yes, yes. And I heard you guys also have like a 
Like a cookie Ininit here? Lang. Yes, cookie? that's San Nicolas cookie it's brought by the Spanish. So is it, do you have, have yeah. it? Uh, you have wait, it? Wait, oh, yeah, okay. uh, These are started to spread Catholicism in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So houses and churches were built. Mm. Uh, they used cement and whites. I had a big problem mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the egg yolks because uh, large masses of spoilage of egg yolks. Across the street, ah. the original name of Barrio is Barrio Masangsang. Masangsang? Paul, yes, foul smell. Because <gasps> The egg yolks were thrown there. Now they know it's Barangay Santo Cristo. There! Where they throw away the egg yolks? Mm. They, they buried the there. They buried, did they just bury the egg yolks? Yeah. Oh. The Spanish oh. Fire. Oh. And the Spanish lands taught the families how to make the use, use of, of the, the egg, yolk, yolk. egg yolks. Ah, that's the, the birth of this. Oh, that's why. Yes. Okay, okay. This is only in Pampanga? No. No, not man. Everywhere. Ah, everywhere. But I never heard of this cookie. But it was only the Kapampan who patronized it. Mm. This one is baked here? Yes. Oh. So it's a cookie of very, very deep and long history. San Nicolas cookies. Mm. They melt in your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. It's like a type of cookie that, yeah, made with egg yolks and powdered sugar. Asian, <laughs> you have rice. Oh, uh, rice is life. Rice. <gasps> oh my god, wait. Oh my god. It's too much. Because we can't finish. But I thought, I, like, wait, what? It means sour. Yes. And then, uh, Aling losing accidentally killed the pork's head and decided to add onions and calamansi and became sisig. Yes, the 1970s Aling losing sisig. She's the one who revolutionized sisig. But as early as 1700, sisig was already existing. <gasps> oh, really? Yes, because sisig is a kapampangan verb. It's our indirect dictionary. Which means sour. To eat something sour. To eat something yes. sour, that's the meaning of that's sisig. Why I have a joke here in Kabampangan. When sisig has a mayonnaise, it's not sisig, it's dinakdakan. Oh. If the sisig has an egg, we call it omelette. <laughs> oh. When you're eating a certain dish, mm -hmm. then they call it sisig, but it's not sour. You cannot call it sisig. Mm. To eat something sour, like, oh, you're sick, so sisigan mo. Like that? Sisigan mo, yes. Sisigan mo. Oh. Correct. All right, guys, so from doing Paborito all this time, this is my first time where my table was this full. This place is actually a restaurant where you can only come through reservation. And then we just came all of a sudden, but they were kind enough to serve us the food. But supposedly, you have to reserve. So supposedly, we cannot eat here because we didn't reserve. But just try. These are all authentic. Kampampangan cuisine and most of them I never tried like it's my first time seeing as you guys know I just went to three different restaurants a while ago so I'm super full honestly but let's get it beginning from the famous bringhe mm. Mm. so it tastes like coconut milk like you can taste it right away and then there was chicken there over right you can taste the chicken obviously and the coconut milk blending it very well because it's a bit shocking right it's chicken and coconut milk but they go perfectly together biko but not sweet but coconut flavor with chicken and then i also wanted to try the corn soup like i don't know where the corn here is because usually the corn soup looks very creamy or like there are bits of corn but here there are no bits of corn Wow, this is the most homemade tasting corn soup I've ever tried. This is so good. These like the egg kind of thing here, this is all corn. Tastes like there weren't much steps from the corn harvested from the field to being turned into this dish. Then, dinuguan. Dinuguan is always like the hardest food for me. Even in Korea, there are also blood dishes, but I can't eat, but I'm gonna try. You know the dinuguan, how like the blood is like the black blood is really like in chunks? But this one, not really, just, just some. Wow. You know, I'm so sad. I'm so sad that kampampangan food, I just tried this now. Everything, every single quality of the dish is so good. Like it's, it's not like typical, oh, sour and salty. Oh, sweet and sour but it has really rich flavor, each dish. It's really true though, Pampanga is really the culinary capital, really. Although I've never been to every single place, but this is really quality food. 
And then this is the asado. They said that it's not like the typical shoto asado. Ah, it's not. Mm, yeah, it's not. It's better adobo, but soupless adobo. And there's just some flavor that I don't know what kind of soy sauce this is, but it's not the typical soy sauce. Or like there's some kind of different sauce added here that's like it's not. It doesn't taste like adobo. Flavor is very very rich. And then. We need to try this huge fish we have over here. So the fish where the women who didn't have voting rights voted for as the official fish for this particular dish. That's why it's called the voting fish. So honestly, I've never tried this fish before. It has a very strong... What is this flavor? Oh no, actually it's sour. It is sour, guys. It's sour. This is actually exotic food. I never tried this. The sauce. And I like how it's not the typical vinegar sourness, but it's like something else. Also, the sweetness as well. It's very special, the flavor. So, let me try. This food is also difficult. It's more difficult than this. You know why it's difficult? Because it's also seafood. Very fishy. I need to learn to know how to eat this food very well. But I can't find any food, any dish that tastes like this. Like, it's really my first time. Bihon. Pancit Canton will never betray you. It's always good. But this one is especially good because you know the similarity of all these food? It's not salty at all. Compared to the Tagalog dishes, it's it's less salty. So that's why I love it. So these two already said it's difficult for me, but I could eat this whole thing. These are just good, like just just good. But all of this, one characteristic, one similarity is like they are food, they're dishes with some kind of philosophy on their own. So each dish tastes very different. They really have the specific characteristics, each dish. Wow. Okay, our last. I love lemon squares, guys, and the slime squares. I don't feel full with like fast food or unhealthy food. I feel full with like really good quality homemade food. I'm feeling full in a very good way right now. Mmm. This is so good. It's not as like lemony. It's not as citrusy as I thought it would be, but the flavor is very. I'm running out of words, guys. <laughs> This is so good, but like, I've reached my 101% right now, guys. Oh, it's so good. All right, guys, so that was actually the longest Pavorito shoot ever from the early morning until past 7 p.m. And the Pavorito of today is... Ta-da! Nanay Lillian's restaurant, Cucina Matua. Old kitchen. So this place, it just came to us like a uh, savior almost because first two seasick places, the two famous seasick places, they were really good. And I was also glad to try like the authentic, the original seasick. But honestly speaking, and I'm pretty sure you saw me in the face, like I was expecting more in Pampanga. So I was just like, it's so good, but like Pampanga is the culinary capital, so it could be better. And this place solve that problem. So a bunch of different home cooked dishes we got to try here in this restaurant and specifically Kampampanga with all the different kind of history and you know food always also tastes better when you know like the history behind it. Even if I just came in a rush they really explained to me everything all the history so it was just such a heartwarming experience aside from the eating part you know the whole vibes of this place the history the story it was just so you know heartwarming basically. Also the food even if I was like so full, like I found all the food very, very, very tasty. So yeah, that was my favorito for our Pampanga episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's favorito and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. And we are in España, near USD. Best thing about USD. Oh. Pale 